So we're going to make some custom textures for Borderlands 3, as you can see here. Uh, I replaced the Nebula texture with uh, some donuts, Deep Nebula. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just kill the game here. Um, we are going to open up our U model. Um, if you were following along with the last tutorials, um, you'll notice that I put it in the packs in its own folder here. Just so it's easier to get to right here. We just kill that U model. I'm going to override the game detection, put it to four. Borderlands three. And OK. Now you're going to want to get that code, well, the key. I'll put that down in the description. There you go. Hit OK. It'll unpack everything. Well, not unpack, but it'll start reading through all of the pack files. And from here, the Nebula skin is located under gear. You just double click in that. Weapons, shared, textures, should be under patterns, and then there should be expand this out a little bit global and you'll see the texture well t global nebula d diffuse you could double click it just to make sure we got the right thing here we go so that's the nebula texture it's a uh, 4k by 2k so from here what we're going to do this is when we start extracting so we're going to export current objects and I'm just going to throw it on my desktop here. And I could just make it a JPEG. You could do whatever you want with it. It's just a texture file. And we're going to be repackaging this through Unreal Engine. So PNG is just fine. Go to my desktop. You'll see a game folder. And then you'll see here, weapons, shared, textures, pattern, global, and here's that nebula texture, 4K by 2K. From here, we're going to go into Photoshop. Let me just drag this in. And somebody was talking about the Tiny Tina gun, and they wanted a skin. So let me go back into new model. From here, if you hit O, brings it back to this menu here just to open and I was able to find okay I found the decal for Tiny Tina's gun under weapons shared textures decal Tina So we could just go into this and export this out. That same folder is fine, PNG. So let's open up our Photoshop here. And let me drag that in. Textures, decals, Tina. Here we go. And we could just do a little Photoshop in here. Let me rasterize this layer real quick. Just gonna take that. Actually, if you double click, come to this, this layer, you can turn that off to keep a little bit of that black. There we go. And I believe her gun is pink. So we can just, you know what, I kind of want to keep this, so if we unlock that, desaturate it, let's just do, let's just color pick a nice pink here, 
see what looks good. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, why not? So if we go in, we can save this. And you could just save it as a PNG. And you could save it right next to this because we're actually going to go in and put a tilde. You could put anything. We're just going to change the name. I normally just do tildes to keep it at the top of the folder whenever I go in. And that is shift and then the key next to the one all the way at the top left there. Hit enter. Make sure you're naming without the tilde. Go ahead and save. And make sure you don't change the actual size of this image. It will crash. So make sure you still have the... Uh, 4096 by 2048, the 4K by 2K texture. So from here, we're going to open up our Unreal Engine. And you're going to need, let me pull it up here, just to show you. If you go into where your EXE is, if you go to Properties, go to Details, you'll see it was made with Engine 4.20. Point three. So we're opening Unreal Enter 4.20.3. Give this a minute to load. We're just going to open up a fresh scene with no content. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Go to New Project and blank no starter content maximum quality and desktop console and you can change the project name right here you can change where you're going to save that project i already have one named tutorial it'll just load up real quick should be just an empty scene like you would get Now you'll notice some, you know, platform lighting, just the basics. Uh, don't worry about any of that. We're not going to need any of that. We don't have to change any of that. Uh, what we're going to change is everything down here. Go to this icon right here, open that up. You're going to notice it's just going to make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, we are in the content folder right now. So from that content folder, we have to go. and make this structure. Instead of game, think of game as your content folder. So we're going to need a gears, well, gear, weapons, underscore shared, textures, decals, Tina. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pattern, global. There we go. Much better. We're going to need to make this structure. Gear, weapons, underscore shared, textures, patterns, global. How we do that is just right click in here, new folder. This is going to be our gear. You hit enter again. Right click, new folder. Make sure everything is capitalized as it should be. From the weapons folder, we have an underscore shared. Next is the textures, patterns, global. And from there, since we're in the same spot here, take this, just drag it right in. Now, notice this asterisk. This asterisk here means this file is not saved yet. So we're going to first double click it to open the editor up. Uh, first thing we're going to do, actually the only thing we have to do for this, is go into the texture group, look for weapon, make it a weapon texture. Otherwise, it will crash the game. Not sure why, but editor wants it to be a weapon. Game reads it as a weapon. 
it's a weapon texture. Now you'll notice this asterisk is still up here right next to the name. We're going to go right over here to save. It's going to save and the asterisk goes away. Exit out of that window, come back to here, no more asterisks, and that's all we got to do. So go up to your file, go all the way down to where it says cook content for windows and hit cook. You can show the output log. It's just going to go through. Shouldn't take too, too long. Once it's done cooking, uh, the easiest way to get there is just right click your content folder right here, show in Explorer, bring the window right up. From there, we're going to go into your, I named mine tutorial, whatever your project file is, go there, go to where saved, go to your cooked, Windows no editor, go to your, again, project file, mine is named tutorial, content, from here it should look familiar, gear, weapons, underscore shared, textures, patterns, global, now you have three files here. We're going to use the U-Bulk. We're just going to copy that. And now we go to where our game is located. Go into your Oak game, go into your content, and go to where this needs to be placed, which is the same file path. So you go from your content to your gear, weapons, underscore shared was it textures patterns global and you'll see I've been changing these here so this one this global nebula D make sure you're on the U bulk what you're gonna want to do is tilde that out and I'm actually going to tilde and put this as donuts because this is my donuts file just to keep it here if I ever want to switch back to it. And then we're going to go in, we're going to paste the T global nebula D that we just created. So from here, the game should read this file properly and everything should work. Let's give it a test. Here we're loading up. Let's let all these textures load. And let's see. Hey, it's pink. Let's hit tab. Go in here. Inspect our weapon. There we go. I want to see that boom. Ah, there it is. So with the nebula texture, it actually like fades in and out. You can see the boom. But that's all you got to do. Um, this is animated because this is the nebula texture. You could change the lightning texture. You could change the butt stallion texture, which gets a pretty cool normal that you could change. But... Uh, if you want, you could just change like the rainbow or any other static texture if you want this boom to just be smack dab right here. Um, just note that all of the guns will read these in different ways. Uh, the UV lays it, layouts for all the weapons and all the pieces are, you know, not all the same. So just keep an eye out for that. You could always export the models if you find them and check out the UVs, texture over that. I just went back in and redid the texture, just offset it a bit so the actual boom would show up here. Not too bad.